What's going on everybody? Josh Engelman here for oddshopper.com back again here to atone for the sins of yesterday because of that right there. Not good. Oh for 5. I'm embarrassed to even be back here. Feel free to roast me in the comments of this video. I think Walker Kessler played like 75 minutes yesterday. Somehow didn't get there. Dame had a big day and just squeaked over the line and I just missed. Completely missed. Some of those aren't even close. Bam Adebayo, not even close. Walker Kessler, not even close. And he was tracking at halftime. Damar, nope. Nick Claxton, nope. Dame, nope. Full on 100% whiff yesterday. I'm not gonna crawl into a hole here. We're back. We gotta do it again. We're here with five more picks for today. It's gonna happen. 60% picks still gets you an 0 for 5. One out of every hundred times you do this. So we're just gonna assume that this is the one in the hundred. We're gonna kick it out. We're gonna treat it like it's a different day. We're gonna get back in here for five more picks. So I need you guys to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Make sure you're following me at Josh Engelman on Twitter. We're gonna have more prize picks entries later today for sure. I know I'm gonna have another card. There's a lot of Q tags out there. It's a five game slate. It's a, we're relatively limited with choices to start the day. It is 8.01 a.m. Eastern time. We're going to have more, so make sure you're following me. But for now, these are my top five plays on prize picks for Tuesday, February 14th. Maybe we'll get a little Valentine's Day luck here. We're starting this one off with an under, and that is going to go to De'Aaron Fox. I want to take the under points plus rebounds plus assists. That number is set at 37 and a half. I've got him at 34 and a half, so I'm coming in pretty cleanly under this mark. It's a matchup against Phoenix. It should be relatively competitive, but we know what Fox is doing out there every day. He's playing 36, 37 minutes a night. I have no problem giving him that chunk of playing time. We know that Malik Monk is not going to be playing tonight for Sacramento. But ultimately, I just think it's the, the line is just a little lofty for Fox. If you get that kind of day, that's a pretty big fantasy score just in general. I, I think he's just being looked at a little bit heavier here. And there's nothing to stop this from being just a Sabonis day. He's got to beat out his own teammate first and foremost before he's running the show here. So I think that Fox can have a decent day, but 37 and a half, like that's that's a pretty big number here for Fox. And I just don't really see it. I think it's the scoring that is mostly outpaced here because I'm two and a half points under on his points. I'm neutral on his assists. I'm neutral on his rebounds. I wanted to give myself a little bit of extra wiggle room, but if you prefer to take the points prop, I totally get that. But for now, I'm going points, rebounds, and assists under 37 for De'Aaron Fox. I got a sneaky suspicion you're not going to enjoy this one, but we're doing it anyway. We're taking the under on Giannis for today. Yes, under on Giannis. It's a matchup for the Bucks against the Celtics with no Marcus Smart, no Jalen Brown. Doesn't seem like we're getting Jason Tatum. We might not have Grant Williams. We might not have Robert Williams. There's all sorts of potential Q tags hanging out there. This must just this might be just like a total beatdown by the Bucks. And I kind of like that here. I feel like it's limiting the amount of minutes that Giannis can play tonight. I don't really see him getting up. Like if this were a normal Boston Celtics matchup, you could expect 36 minutes out of Giannis today. I think that would be impossible. So for right now, his points, rebounds, and assists is at 51 and a half. I got him at 49 and a half, which means if you think about this right now, he can go for 31 points, 10 rebounds, and 10 assists. He can have a 31, 10, and 10 triple double today and not hit the mark. And that's where I think he's just gonna have a lot of pr trouble just squeezing everything out of it for today. They don't need Giannis to take over a Celtics game when all of the best players aren't playing. And it's potentially even more as we get closer to lock. So I feel pretty good here. Can Giannis smash in limit limited minutes? Absolutely. We've seen it time and time again. He's incredible. But for today, I think that line is just a little too high. So we're taking another under. This one's a weird one, but I kind of like it. One more under, that's gonna be Fred Van Vliet's made free throws. The line is set at four and a half. I got him projected for four. So we're coming in under that one. And uh, look, I, there's only so much reasoning you could have for a free throws prop, but I do think this one stands out. Orlando, not a huge foul team. They're dead middle of the pack in the NBA in committing fouls. That makes me feel good. Like if they were a team that just fouled constantly, 
I'd be a little bit more nervous here, but they're middle of the pack. The other piece that I think looks most interesting for this prop is that Orlando doesn't allow a ton of shots at the rim. And I think that's what's going to be pretty helpful here. We've seen over the past three or four years where Fred Van Vliet just does not get to the rim nearly as much as he used to. We're talking he has given up multiple shots that he used to take at the rim that he just does not get there for any longer. That's what aging does to you. It's not as easy to get to the rim. The less you get to the rim, the less you're going to get fouled and get shot attempts. That is where I think it's interesting. So the Orlando Magic are eighth in terms of shots allowed at the rim. Eighth best, that is, for them. So I think the opportunities are going to be a little bit few and far between for Fred Van Vliet here in this spot. So I'm willing to take the chance. If this line was set at four, it wouldn't be that interesting. But the fact that you get that hook is incredibly helpful here. So we just got to keep Fred Van Vliet off the line for today. That works for me. Maybe we'll get lucky. Gary Trent will play and there'll be even less opportunities for Fred Van Vliet. But for now, under four and a half free throws made for Fred Van Vliet is on the card. Got another one here, but we're going over this time. Finally, something positive to cheer for. DeAndre Ayton over points and rebounds. That line is set at 30 and a half. I've got him at 32.9. I love taking guys against the Sacramento Kings if you're looking to add offensive stats. The Kings defense is not very good, and that is a benefit to me. And I think it's with no bridges now, no Cam Johnson. There's some additional opportunities to go around for Ayton. And we've got Booker back. He's still a little limited. I just think that we're going to see more out of DeAndre Ayton here. And you're not going to get many game scripts better than taking on the Sacramento Kings. Now, Getting rebounds against Demonte Sabonis isn't the biggest treat in the world, but I do like his opportunity for scoring. And I just think that he's going to have to do a little bit more moving forward. So the line is set at 30 and a half. I got 32.9. I'm mostly over on Aiton from a rebounding perspective. If you just want to take the over 10 and a half boards, I think that would be totally fine as well. I think the points prop looks pretty reasonable, but I like giving myself a little bit more wiggle room. That's why I'm heading to points plus rebounds. So give me DeAndre Aiton over 30 and a half. Now guys, if we just ignore yesterday's performance, what I really want you to do is tail these picks on prize picks using the link in the description if you haven't signed up there yet. Click it, head on over, make a deposit. You're gonna get up to $100 on that first deposit. Great deal there. If you put in 50, you'll get 50. I recommend you put in 100 and get 100. You also get one month of our Stochastic Plus Platinum Package at stochastic.com. That is the real key here because we've got a prize picks player prop tool that takes all of these props, assigns probabilities to them, and just gives you the information. You could build out your prize picks cards very, very quickly using our tools. Put together five on one card like I'm doing, you can net up to 10x your entry fee. You even get a little bit back on four wins or three wins. Or you can go for six if you want, if you're feeling really, really feeling really good about your props, you'll get 25x your entry fee if you hit all six you'll still get a little bit back for five and four in those regards so what i'm telling you guys to do is this click the link in the description go sign up take advantage of this opportunity we're not going to go on five again i promise you that we're going back to the free throw line for this final prop but this time we're taking an over it's 0.5 free throws made for kevin herter i got him at 1.2 so right away we're expecting this one Kevin Herter is making 1.4 free throws per game this season. He takes 1.9. He used to be like an 80% free throw shooter. This year he's at 71% or something like that. But either way, he's making significantly over one free throw attempt or one free throw made per game. I like that straight away. But the bigger piece here for me is that Malik Monk is not playing this game. Malik Monk is usually the guy that creates this opportunity where Kevin Herter might not close a game. By taking out one guy from the rotation, they don't appear to be replacing him with anybody. So I think Kevin Herter's likelihood of closing is significantly higher now than it normally is. I think he's live for 30 to 34 minutes today instead of having this opportunity where he might only play 24. I love this prop. Point five. He can make a free throw in the first minute of this game and you've already won it. It's that simple. Maybe he gets fouled on a three-point attempt. If he doesn't make one of those three free throws, I'll never do this video again. How's that? The easiest one. This is the one you want to get to no matter what. And don't forget, 
Today's Tuesday, which means it's Taco Tuesday, which means there are going to be props that get put up on prize picks that are basically no brainers. So if you wanna wait it out on one of these that you don't like, take advantage of the taco when it shows up, but don't leave this Kevin Herter prop off. This is the best one that you can get. Alrighty, folks, the card is placed. You can see it right here, under on Fox, under on Giannis, under on Van Vliet. We're taking the free throw with Herter and we're going over for DeAndre Ayton. The five picks are in. Don't forget about the taco. You'll get another card from me or at least something resembling five more picks from me later today once that first one drops. But good luck tonight. Like, subscribe, notification bell, follow me on Twitter. Sign up at Stochastic. Check out Odds Shopper. I'm hitting it all. Good luck tonight, guys. We're going to do better tonight. I promise you that.